fam, what's up? It's April here and welcome to my stop of the Heartless Australian Book Tour by Marissa Meyer. Just want to say a quick thank you to Pan Macmillan Australia for sending this book my way and allowing me to be a part of this. So Heartless is Marissa Meyer's latest release. It came out on the 8th of November and it is a standalone retelling of Alice in Wonderland with a twist. It is actually all about the Queen of Hearts before she actually became the Queen of Hearts. She was just a girl who wanted to open up a bakery and who happened to fall in love with the Joker and it's awesome. So first let's talk about the things that I really enjoyed about this book. Just as you would expect Marissa Meyer's writing is fantastic and absolutely magical. The entire time I was reading this it, it just felt like a magical experience like everything was just because that makes sense. But we are in the Kingdom of Hearts and Catherine, she's the daughter of a really important family and the king takes an interest in her and wants to court her so that she will become the Queen of Hearts. The problem is she doesn't think she could ever find it in herself to have feelings for the king. He is just not her type. He is a little old man who is kind of oblivious to everything. <laughs> so during a big party where all the royal families come together for this ball, Catherine meets the Joker, the new king's Joker, and he is beautiful. <laughs> His name is Jest and I don't know what it was about him but I fell in love with him straight away. He just had this sexiness that I just felt through the pages. I was like, Jest, can I marry you please? He was so sweet and kind and funny and just adorable. So because Catherine is obviously part of a very high up family, uh, their family has maids and Catherine and her maid decide that they really want to open a bakery. Catherine is an amazing baker and the sweets described in this book were unreal. Like I was so hungry 100% of the time. So Catherine's parents don't know that her and her maid Marianne are bosom buddies. They're the best of friends and they have dreams and all they want in life is to open a bakery. So they start to take the steps towards that but her parents forbid it. They are insisting no, no, they're not just insisting. They are making sure that Catherine marries the king because there is no higher honor and she will do their family proud, blah, 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 blah. But no, she doesn't want to and she falls in love with Jest instead. So obviously there are magical adventures and tea parties and all of this stuff that happens throughout the novel and I found the connections to the original Alice in Wonderland and this were so clever and little things that she wove in there you're like oh so that's why that's how it is in Alice in Wonderland you know what I mean like it was just really cleverly woven but obviously if you know the story of Alice in Wonderland then you know what the Queen of Hearts ends up being uh, and the result of that is an incredibly devastating ending to this book because we we know how it's going to turn out we know that the queen of hearts is evil and despicable and horrible she's not this sweet girl that we meet at the beginning of this book and obviously somehow we have to make that leap from sweet catherine to the evil queen of hearts and it was devastating. I don't really like sad endings. I like hopeful endings and this sort of crushed my soul a little bit but I love how she did stay true to the original story and it was oh my lord. So very very sad. I'll just put it out there. I want to prepare you if you're going to read this it's going to hurt a lot. Right, moving on to the things that I didn't really like. The first thing I encountered throughout the first couple of chapters and that is the way that Catherine talks about Lady Merle. Lady Merle is a character in this novel that you're not really supposed to like. She's sort of Catherine's frenemy kind of thing um, and I really didn't like how Catherine 
was talking about Lady Merle's appearance. She was saying how she was hideous and ugly and I just think that's horrible. <laughs> Obviously Lady Merle can't help the way that she looks but I just thought that was not a positive thing and I am against women against other women, you know what I mean? I think women should always stick together and I didn't really like that. The other thing I didn't like was more my problem rather than the book's problem and that is animal cruelty. Um, we all know in the original Alice in Wonderland when they play, what's it called, that thing where they have the flamingos as the as the things and they knock the things, the hedgehogs, what's that game called? I don't know. But what I especially didn't like is, I mean, it would have been fine if Catherine hadn't have been so horrible. She basically threatened her flamingo that she would wrap its neck around a tree and leave it there if it didn't do what she wanted. Like, I would expect that from an evil character, but not from the character you're supposed to root for. So overall, I gave this like a 3.5 stars. I really enjoyed it, but I'm not really a fan of being really, really sad <laughs> at the end of a book. Um, and I did have a couple of issues with it, but overall, it's very strong. Um, it's a standalone, which is awesome. And I definitely recommend it if it sounds like something you would enjoy, or if you enjoyed Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles, even though this isn't a sci-fi, it's more of a fantasy. To see. Um, it was still a magical and delightful read. Thank you again to Pan Macmillan Australia and that is it for this video. I will see you guys soon with a new one. Goodbye!